Hey everybody, my name is Shanee Chanel and welcome back to my channel. What I have for you today is the how to do your nails with cornstarch video basically. I'm going to tell you all the tips, tricks, everything that I learned while I was trying to make this video happen for you all. How I feel about it, just all the tea that you'd want spelt. I got you boo, I got you. Okay, and um, yeah, what you're going to need for this video is... What am I trying to tell you? What you're gonna need for this experiment is the cornstarch, some um, clear nail polish, preferably a quick dry top coat, uh, a little dipping bowl, a bowl to dip your finger in, and um, what else did I use? Oh, whatever color you wanna put on your nails. Um, if you noticed, I already have my nails done. Um, I have a video where I show you how to prep your natural nails or tips, extensions, whatever for, um, for just to prep them and <laughs> yeah, I'll link that, it should be somewhere on the top and oh, you'll also need a little brush to dust off the cornstarch. Okay, so this is not really a tutorial, I am going to show you what I did but I'm going to tell you more about my experience with it than how to actually do it because watch one video you've watched them all basically right but i'm telling you what i think you need to know about this cornstarch thing all right so when i when i did the tips on my nails i stuck them and as though i was going to do acrylic because i kind of just assumed from the videos that i watched that the cornstarch would have been as strong as the acrylic nope lies it's not it ain't gonna do that because I was scratching my hair and my nail is bending. Wow, my nail is bending. Bending. There's a D in that way. My nail is bending. How? It's not like flexible to say it's like a rubber band or a ball or something, but it's bending more than acrylic wood. It's not supposed to bend like this based on what I saw, okay? So, my advice to you first thing if you're going to do the cornstarch nails and you're going to use tips and not your natural nails or even just for a fill with well it's a temporary fix in my opinion because it bends too much so if you're going to use this you need to stick the nails a little bit lower down so you need to stick the little plastic nail the nail tip more than halfway down your nail or at least halfway no further up than that because you're not going to get the support from the cornstarch that you need to make this last for a month or however long you typically leave nails on for. Um, just so you have an idea, I did about eight coats. Now, to be fair, I probably filed off about four of it, but I did a lot. I did a lot of cornstarch on my nails, and it didn't. It's still not thick enough where it gives you the support of acrylic or gel. Um, the second thing that I found, now this is just through trial and error because when I just started doing it, I would put the nail polish on, dip my finger in, put the polish on, dip again. And then about, I waited, wait. Okay, so I did about four coats, five coats I think. And then I tried to file it to make it as smooth as possible because I, I can't stand rough nails, I really can't. So. What you're seeing me is, is me buffing it here, right? So I tried to file it, the, the cornstarch was peeling off. I tried to buff it, same, same thing happened. So what I realized is that obviously it didn't dry quick enough. So after I tried to patch it a little bit, what I did is I left it. I did one coat and I, I left, I, what did I do? I'm lying here. Okay, I left it to dry for 10 minutes. And then after the 10 minutes, I tried to file it again. It was still peeling a little bit but not as much so then after a while I said you know what I did a um, I did one coat left it to dry for two minutes did another coat left it to dry for two minutes so I think I did that like three times and then I let it dry for another about ten minutes again after that and then filed it and it was still flaking a little bit and I used it at um, a quick dry top coat so yeah um what do I else I, what else do I have to tell you about this? I don't 
I, I'm not sure how long I have to leave it for it to dry properly for me to file it because as it is the it doesn't go on smoothly it does not like no matter what I did it really didn't go on smooth at all so I can't just polish my nails after I've dipped it in the cornstarch and brushed it off I really can't so if you are fine with bumpy nails go ahead boo do you and live your best life but I can't uh, what else I don't think this is a replacement for gel or acrylic like a permanent solution yes it would definitely work if you have to refill gel or acrylic or anything and you need to do a quick at home something this ain't quick though I just saying but if you need to do a quick at home something just to hold you through until you can make your next appointment at the nail tech fine it would work because the nail has the support of the gel or the acrylic underneath it but to say you're going to start from scratch with the cornstarch nah mm -mm. it didn't work for me maybe like i said or like i recommended if you stick the tip the nail tip a lot lower down on the nail and probably oh don't file it so if you don't file it that might also help with the strength of the nail so stick it don't file it and then fill the back end first with the cornstarch the dip method with the cornstarch and then fill it over the whole nail and then it might be a little bit stronger if you get if you if you get where i'm coming from but yeah my main thing is that it's not as structurally is that the correct word structurally sound as i would expect now don't get me wrong it looks natural it really really does it's really cute it's a nice look for a very cheap cost because i paid 350 tt for a pack of cornstarch and that's like 50 cents us i don't know i just guessed in here but there's less than a dollar us for the cornstarch right so it's a good investment in terms of a quick fix a cheap DIY method some you want to do at home if you really wash ways like scrub your bathroom stuff like that if you're not doing that this nails will work for you if you're not gonna scratch your hair live your best life you could do this but when you have stuff to do on a daily like maybe type on your laptop type on your computer my nails gonna break and it's gonna hurt and I can't live with that but it makes for a very cute picture it looks good like I still have it on I'm looking at it now and I am quite pleased with how it turned out it looks natural I'll give it all its props but it's still lumpy even though I would have buffed it out it's still lumpy and it's lumpy to the point where my mother looked at my hands and was like I was like mommy look it cute right she's like eh, I don't like it it rough I was like, well, well, damn, hit my feelings, why don't you? But you know, my mother said it and I thought it, but I was so pleased that it actually worked. And yeah. Yeah, so that is pretty much everything that I thought about cornstarch nails. Um, you can continue watching the video to see how I <laughs> how how I made it through the process, the experiment. It took me an hour and maybe 20 minutes to do one hand one because i was looking for the best way to do it to show you all the best way to actually do it i wanted to give you all a foolproof method or a full not really method because it's been done right but i wanted to show you all everything involved with actually doing the nails and having it what making it easy for you all to replicate basically so if i could do it you could do it that kind of thing so i hope you enjoyed the rest of the video like comment subscribe let me know what you thought about it let me know if you tried it and yeah enjoy the rest of the video i'll see you all at the end
so now this is absolutely it for me guys i hope you enjoyed the video remember to check out the other videos i'll post them or i'll link them somewhere on the screen remember to like comment subscribe and stay tuned for the pics of what my nails look like <laughs> i i am such a weirdo y'all like comment subscribe bye see y'all on the next one